Hey guys, Ashish this site. So this is a five part video series on study in France in which I'm going to cover everything that you need to know for planning to study in France. So France is one of the top study destinations in the world and it is also the fashion capital of the world. So this is also one of the country that you can look forward to. So with that, let us start with the part one. In part one, we are going to talk about the key facts about France, education system of France and the reasons to study in France. So first thing that comes is about France, it's a beautiful country, uh, also Paris is one of the most beautiful cities in the world, comprises of 18 administrative regions with Paris as the capital. The population of France is 67 million, world's seventh largest economy. It is ranked as one of the top study and tourist destination in the world. French is the official and predominant spoken language and Euro is the official currency of France. Next is reasons to study in France. So you have attractive tuition rates in France which are cheaper than some of the top countries. Then quality higher education adapted to students need. Outstanding research and development opportunities. France is a world class economic power. France is home to leading international corporations like Airbus, Total, Orange, LVMH, L'Oreal, Danone, among many others. Also, young talent is valued in innovation and entrepreneurship sectors. French lifestyle Paris is also uh, considered as number one student city. French is the third most common business language. So in my last series also I told about that how important it is to, to learn the second language. And if you have the opportunity to learn the second language, it helps a lot. So here you have the opportunity to learn French also. France is an appealing destination for students worldwide and 9 out of 10 international students recommend France as a study destination. Apart from that, you also have post-study work visa. Students are eligible for 2 years of post-study work visa on completion of a master's course. Then you have subsidized accommodation by government. Now this is something new. France is the only country in Europe to offer this benefit. All students are eligible on a case to case basis to apply for assistance and receive subsidy on cost of accommodation from 30 to 50% on the rent from French government. So if you are somebody who is planning to apply in France, make sure you take the advantage of this scheme. Then next you have is part time job. Students can work up to 964 hours per year. Typical part time earning is 10 to 12 euros and minimum gross wage is about 9.676 per hour. Then you have visa. Every student is granted a specific long stay visa for study purposes in France. But there is one more advantage that however the country falls within the Schengen area as the area has the liberty to visit any of the Schengen countries as a visitor for invited period of for tourism purpose. So if you are not aware about the Schengen area then you can google it and explore more about the countries which falls into the Schengen region. Then you have free French language courses. So French classes are provided by many government organizations for free. Enrollment fees are typically around 5 to 10 euros. Duration remain 2 to 3 hours a day. It is part of the course curriculum of which exams are conducted and students are awarded a certificate for their French knowledge level. Then you have low transportation expenses. A transport pass cost around 35 euros per month for students under 25 years of age. Else it is around 45 so to 50 so it is almost 70% uh, kind of for students. And then last but not least internship opportunities in multinational companies. So most of the courses have inbuilt 4 to 6 month internship which may be paid or unpaid. So paid internship may come with a stipend of approx 500 euros per month. So these are some of the companies like L'Oreal or Chanel or Capgemini. Essilor, Renault or Lacoste are some of the French companies which are worldwide known. So with that now next thing we are going to understand is the education system in France. So France has 82 state universities, 5 Catholic universities and many private universities some of which award degrees and diplomas. Now you have three type of degrees in France. 
UG is known as license, PG is known as masters and doctorate is PhD is doctorate and then you have grand equals we will in second video we'll talk about the top universities of France and France and then we'll talk about equals but just like the Ivy League you have equals in France so grand equals are ticket to success in France and all top level French politicians or business leaders are product of one of these schools these are uh, so now uh, these are comparable to American Ivy League University so like since uh, you have Ivy League in US you have e calls in France next is in order to attend an undergraduate program in France you must complete 13 years of schooling as well as meet the additional requirements the academic year in France run from September until June the following year now next let's see the Indian students in France so in 2019, there are around 10,000 Indian students choose France for pursuing higher education. Oh, there's one more thing that you should know. The target of having 10,000 students annually in France set by 2020 by President Emmanuel Macron and Prime Minister Narendra Modi was attained well in advance. So France and India have got into this collaboration for 10,000 students per year to study in France. So you will find a lot of scholarships also if you explore and we specifically have a scholarship video on France also that also you can check but I'll tell you more about in second video. So with that we have come to the end of part one in part two I'm going to tell you about the popular courses in France then top universities of France main cities for students and duration and tuition fee for courses. So this is what we are going to cover in part two of study in France series. Now if you have any query on studying in France then I have put in the details in description on how you can contact us so check that. Like this video, comment, share with your friends as well. If you are new to this channel then please do subscribe. This channel has a lot of content on study abroad be it different courses, countries, universities and just like the study in France series you are seeing we also have series like study in Australia, study in Ireland, Germany, Netherlands, UK, US, New Zealand, Canada almost all top destinations are covered on this channel so you can check that also. I'll see you soon in part 2 of study in France series till then stay connected.